Hello, in this video, I would like to discuss a public opinion poll concerning the morality of using embryonic stem cells for research purposes. Now, this poll is a historic perspectives poll done by Gallup that asked the question whether people found the use of embryonic stem cells for research purposes to be moral or immoral. Now, this poll began in May 2002 and its most recent update was done in May 2020. Now, this question in the poll was asked every year in May, meaning that the poll began in 2002, and then the question was asked again in May 2003, and then in May 2004, and so on and so on, until the most recent date of May 2020. Now, this poll is interesting because it shows a relatively steady acceptance of using embryonic stem cell for research purposes. The poll finds that somewhere between mid 50s to high 60% of respondents consider the use of embryonic stem cells to be morally acceptable. Now, this is important in itself for many reasons concerning people with severe disabilities. If we can get the majority of the public to look at stem cell research as a viable avenue of research and not something that is morally objectionable on religious grounds, then maybe we can make real progress in trying to help people with severe disabilities such as brain injuries primarily the major hope of stem cell research is that eventually however far off that may be, we can repair not only people's, what I would say, superficial tissues, but more substantive brain tissue may also be repaired. And this would open the door to increasing people's quality of life. Not only for people with CP, but people who have suffered from strokes and other serious brain issues. Now, this brings me to another interesting insight 
as to the push and pull of how scientific advancements are often made. Generally, scientific advancements are bred out of what is generally uncomfortable. This can be seen as far back as the advent of the nuclear bomb during World War II. This is perhaps the best example. For although developing the nuclear bomb was quite destructive and led to the death of many people once the nuclear bombs were detonated over Japan. Developing these bombs produced a lot of knowledge in the area of nuclear physics, which has then been used in the medical field to treat illnesses such as cancer and also help us better image things through the use of MRI and CAT scan. So I bring this up to illustrate that although scientific advancements In this case, let's say stem cell research can be uncomfortable for some based off of pre-existing religious beliefs and hence moral objections. These moral objections should not wholly limit people's acceptance of what stem cell research may be able to provide people who suffer from severe disabilities. I believe it is within people's capacity to set their objections aside and understand that by doing so, they may be opening the door to many future scientific advancements.